everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. <laughs> Today's video is about the iconic which is one of those websites that always pops up on Facebook ads and you see a dress that you really like and then you click on it and you realize it's $400. Yes, the Iconic is quite an expensive store. They stock a lot of designer brands. I've been wanting to buy things from the Iconic for a very long time, but as I said, it's very, very expensive. But that's where Honey comes in. <laughs> this was a very convenient timing for me. Honey reached out telling me that they wanted to sponsor one of my videos and they told me, Go shopping on one of the 30,000 websites that we support. Buy some clothes, get a discount, happy days. Which I did. I filled up my shopping cart with $4,800 worth of clothing from the Iconic. I used Honey at the checkout. I saved about $800. If you don't know what Honey is, you're probably confused. It's a free browser extension. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to do anything. It's just two clicks and you install it on your browser. Let me just reiterate. It's free. You don't have to pay for Honey, but Honey saves you hundreds of dollars. It finds promo codes and it automatically applies them at the checkout. You just click the button, you just sit back and wait. It lands on the one that saves you the most money. Ta-da, happy days, you save money. Like I said, Honey services about 30,000 stores like Fashion Nova, Colourpop, Sephora. I've used it so many times for clothing hauls that I've posted in the past. So I was very, very excited when they emailed me because this is a, a brand that I love, I fully support. And if you wanna try it yourself, all you have to do is click on the link below. It's joinhoney.com slash prettypastel. If you aren't using it already, you're literally missing out on free money. And by installing it, you won't just be saving money for yourself, but you'll also be supporting our channel. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash prettypastel. And with that, thank you so much, Honey, for sponsoring this video and making this clothing haul possible because I've been wanting to shop at the Iconic for such a long time and I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. So thank you. Now, my uh, humble Australian self must apologize in advance for the fact that the Iconic only ships to Australia and New Zealand at the moment. So for my viewers that are international, you won't be able to buy directly from the Iconic, but all the brands that they stock ship internationally on their own websites. And also a lot of the brands are available on other websites like ASOS or Farfetched or Net-A-Porter. You know, the stuff in this video isn't actually the iconic branded. They distribute brands from all over the world. For example, my favorite dress that you'll see in this video, you can also get it on ASOS and you can also just get it directly from the brand itself. So anyway, with that, uh, I filmed this video a couple of weeks ago. So my hair is about to revert back to its blonde state. So enjoy. So I'm in dress number one now, and uh, this is called the Sage Mini Dress. It's by a brand called Faithful the Label. So this dress on the side is $169. It's not that often that I completely lose my mind when I see something online. You know, usually I'll see things and I'm like, oh yes, that's pretty, or that's nice, add to cart. But when I saw this, can I tell you, my reaction was one of pure insanity. Scrolling, peacefully scrolling. <laughs> The first thing that I think when I see this dress, it gives me very Sugar Thrills vibes from Dolls Kill, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Bad thing because anything to do with Dolls Kill is cursed and uh, I don't want to associate with it anymore. But good thing because I do like the vibes of Sugar Thrills and uh, this dress definitely looks like something that I would have bought on Dolls Kill once upon a time. Maybe the price is somewhat similar too. I remember things on Dolls Kill did get kind of pricey. Maybe not to the extent of this one. Uh, this is almost $200, but um, for me, 100% worth it. I adore, adore the sleeve details. I think they're so beautiful. And also the way that it cinches in at the waist and under the bust here, I think it's really, really flattering. I just love the way that this draws the eye to the waistline and it sits here really nicely, flares out like this. And the shade of pink is definitely the perfect shade of pink as far as I'm concerned. I just wish I could uh, get my hair this color and then I'd be a very happy lady. If you can justify the price, I feel like you'd be very happy because it definitely feels like a really high quality garment. You would hope so for that much money. For the first dress of the day, very, very happy with this one. Okay, onto the next dress now and Archie has finished eating his lunch, which means that he's um, coming to try and 
my head. No, now I have a big issue here because obviously hashtag the bird stays and we love Archie being in the videos, but I'm wearing some really, really expensive clothing right now and I don't want him to sh on me. L look at this. If you're a bird owner, you will understand. Archie. There is no need to wiggle wiggle. No, 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 no. I don't want it. Mister, I'm your mother. Come up, up, Archie, come on. You come with me, let's go. I may have to put Archie away because I, I don't want him upping me while I'm wearing a $500 dress. Yes, that's right. This dress is by a brand called uh, Rotate by Berger Christensen, and it is $500. We do not need bird skin all over it. No, you sit on your perch, please. It's like a 16 year old boy on TikTok. What has my life become? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Why don't you go over to the window and yell at strangers? It's the best part of having a bird. You can just throw them. <laughs> Can't do that to a cat or a dog. <laughs> And don't do that if you've ever clipped your bird's wings. Yeah, don't, don't throw the bird if you've clipped their wings. Also, don't throw the bird if it's a chicken. Now, I have two criticisms of this dress. One, it's a little bit too sheer. I'm actually wearing nude Spanx under this, believe it or not, but it still looks very dark underneath. And the second thing, because it has such a very, very low V down here, it's difficult to find an appropriate bra to wear with it. I have uh, opted to go without one today, which is fine as long as my hair is pulled down like this, but when I put my hair back, not so fine. I love the movement in this dress and I love the swing of the skirt. It moves in the most beautiful way when you walk. It's very high quality. I believe that it's made in Holland. I'll have to double check. That's sometimes it's difficult with these designers because they might be based in Holland or based in Australia, or based in Italy, but then the garments are made in China. I'll fact check this and let you know if the word right here, if it says that it's made in a European country, I would justify the price. If it says made in China, I would not justify the price. But I do adore Buttercup Yellow. It's a color that I definitely want to buy more of. I don't have much at all. I have that like off the shoulder yellow top. I think I have two cardigans and that's about it. So it's nice to have a yellow dress. What do you think? Do you like it? I don't want you to like it. Okay, so this next dress is called the Garden Party Mini Dress. This is by a brand called Nookie and it's $310 originally. Now this dress is the sort of dress that looks great in pictures but is not practical at all because it's so tight around the legs that you can't really walk. This is a dress that's excellent for posing in, in photos, and I suppose maybe if you're just shuffling your way to your car, sitting, getting out of your car and shuffling your way, not very far, to the restaurant, then this dress is excellent. But, you know, don't expect to be getting off the train at Central Station, walking five blocks to go to your restaurant, then walking to a cinema, and then walking back to the car, you're not gonna have a great time, you won't get very far. Maybe I should make a rap about difficult clothing. I got this one because the model looked exceptional in it. Uh, unfortunately when I put it on I'm once again reminded that I am no model. Looks a bit awkward on me. I do adore the colour. Sky blue is one of my favourite colours. I love the floral print. This is made in China. It's $300. Probably just $300 because everything on Nookie is about $300. Side note, just had to put Archie in his cage because he was starting to bite. When birds get hormonal they get a little bit aggressive because they're angry with you for not letting them f your face. Okay, next up is a skirt from a brand called Damsel and Silk. This is a $210 skirt. I love the way this skirt moves. I really like the height of it. I love this style with a pair of pumps and a nice little cardigan. It's a very light skirt and obviously sometimes when something feels light, it can feel a little bit cheap, but because it's silk, it feels more luxurious, but I would like a little bit more weight to the fabric because it's very, very sheer. And even wearing nude undies underneath it, still you can see the outline of them and it doesn't look fantastic. So a win for the cut, a win for the color, 
I guess a win for the ethically sourced fabric and the sustainable material, but can't say that this one comes with a very high rating from me. Okay, next up is this really unusual bag from a brand called Olga Berg. Now, Olga Berg is an Australian accessories designer. This is an acrylic bag. It is so unusual. Look at the shape of it. It's got a perfectly flat base on it. And what I was really, really drawn to is this unusual look of what kind of looks like creased fabric in a way. I have no idea how they could possibly have made this, but it's fascinating. It's very, very heavy and it has a really heavy gold chain on it. I do kind of worry that this gold chain might scratch the surface a little bit. It's got a gold clasp and then it opens up. There's also another, there's, oh, here we go. So there's a little chain in here, so you can wear it as an over the shoulder bag. Big problem with it is it is stinky. It is really, really stinky. Obviously that'll go away eventually, but. Uh, it's just this very strong smell of plastic. So this is a $130 bag. Unfortunately, the chain isn't quite long enough to be a shoulder bag. Only just, only just. But it's a little bit awkward to, um, to wear as a shoulder bag. I just wish it was that little tiny bit longer so it kind of sat around, maybe like around there. <laughs> okay, this next bag is absolute madness. This is a $645 bag from a brand called Cult Gaia. You may have heard of them, they're quite high end. Look at the size of this thing. This bag is absolutely gigantic. I actually got this as a gift for a friend of mine because Cult Gaia is one of her favorite brands and I knew that it was stocked on the Iconic and when I knew that I was doing this video with the sponsorship from Honey, I thought it's a good opportunity to get my friend this bag and she's been eyeing it off for ages and couldn't justify the price because obviously it's like 650 bucks and like who's gonna pay $650 for a, a bag that you are probably just gonna take to the beach or something. So uh, anyway, I bought this for my friend. You might know of Colt Gaia from their classic timber look bag. Uh, it's being knocked off by like every brand under the sun now. I think Forever 21's done it. I think like H&M has done that bag. Lots of lots of places copy that bag. But this this is the original designer, Colt Gaia. That's the designer of that bag design. If you ever see that bag online, that's where it originated from. So Colt Gaia is Los Angeles based. I have no idea where this bag is made though. Is there? Any information in here that, well, what's this? You know something's expensive when it comes with a little envelope inside. This unique bag is handmade by skilled artisans using exceptional materials. Slight variations are to be expected and are what makes this piece unique. Perfectly imperfect. Like me. Maybe not perfectly, just imperfect. Hang on. Still doesn't say where it's made. It just says it's handmade by skilled artisans. As far as I know, that could just be someone in a sweatshop in China. I don't know. I will do some more research and I will put it here. Anyway, it is appropriately sized to fit under one's armpit. So obviously my criticism of the last bag was it wouldn't fit. This one does fit. It's large and the friend that I'm giving it to is small. She could actually fit inside it if she wanted to. Maybe that's what she wants it for. Maybe she wants it to sleep in. It is indeed a very, very big bag. Now, speaking of Cult Gaia, I also got myself a Cult Gaia bag that I couldn't resist. I have been resisting the urge to purchase this style anytime that I saw it as a counterfeit. Like I said, this is a very popular style and lots of places do knockoffs and I never bought a knockoff and I never bought the original because it was expensive. But again, I had a very you know, unique situation in making this video, so I splurged and I got it. This is a $430 bag. This is it here. If you place it on any surface, it will rock a lot. It'll rock and roll. Pretty heavy bag, it's solid acrylic. I really like these fine details. It's got these little tiny beads sort of running through here. It's a really nice pearlescent pink acrylic. It opens up like this. You can put your phone in it. I suppose you could technically put your keys in there too, but they would probably fall through the cracks. Oh, look at that. 100% acrylic made in China. Anyway. Moving on. I also got these Swarovski earrings. These are just beautiful. Swarovski's one of my favorite brands. I've done a couple of um, sponsorships over on my Instagram in the past with Swarovski, which was like the highlight of my <laughs> influencer career because it's my favorite brand ever. These were $200. The only time I could ever justify paying that much is uh, in a video like this. They're so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited to put these on. Swarovski is my go-to brand for presents and things like that because it's a wonderful brand, very high quality products, kind of pricey, but not ridiculously expensive. These earrings, oh, I love them. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so pretty. 
my watch is a Swarovski watch, actually. Daniel's mum has this watch in silver. She's had it for many, many years and I've been keeping my eye on it and I waited and waited for it to go on sale and it finally did. I bought it. I love it so much. Anyway, I feel like I'm gonna get a huge amount of wear out of these earrings. They're right up my alley. Perfect color. I love the vintage look. They're so stunning. Ugh. Ah! Okay, this next dress is from a brand that I love. This is by a brand called Misha Collection, and uh, they're an Australian company. Again, I don't think the pieces are made in Australia, but they are beautiful. They put a lot of care and thought into their designs, and this dress, this is so pretty. So this dress is called the Devon Dress. It's a $460 dress. The only other times that I've purchased from this brand, I got things on sale. So for example, I got this awesome jumpsuit on sale. Uh, at Maya, there's a store called Maya in Australia. They stock Misha Collection. And um, I got that, I think it was down to 250 from like 600 or something. It was like an end of year clearance sale. This is the sort of brand, put it on your radar and snatch things up if they're on sale because the quality of these garments is mind-blowing quality. You know, like there's a, a big difference between a dress like this from Yes Style and a dress like this from a brand like Misha Collection. They put such time and effort into their designs. They fit beautifully. The fabric is exceptional. You'll never find a loose thread, a loose stitch, anything out of place on a dress like this. This dress is fully beaded from top to bottom. It just creates this really interesting, sparkly, almost glossy wet look. It has a beautiful draping back on it and the straps cross over. My only issue with it, because it's got a little bit of beading and sequins, it's kind of um, digging into me and irritating me just around here. I really like this neckline. I love how it sits with like a little bit of excess fabric just here. It's that kind of drapey look where it looks like it's almost going to bust open, but it's not. I do kind of wish Daniel was here to like rate these outfits. It's a video I've been thinking of doing for a while. Like my husband rates my so-and-so haul. If you would like to see a video like that, let me know down below which brand that you'd want us to do it for, because I'm sure that Daniel would love this dress. I'm sure that he would say, let's go out to dinner or something. Or maybe he'd say something else, but we don't need to talk about that. As you guys probably know, lilac is my favorite color. So this one gets 10 out of 10 points for color. 10 out of 10 for fit, 10 out of 10 for like overall style, very Jessica Rabbit-esque. And brand gets a 10 out of 10 from me as well because I love all their designs, they're stunning. Okay, next up is another one by Misha Collection. This one is called the Lorena dress. This is a $320 dress. I love, love dresses that have a very, very deep plunging neckline. This almost comes down to my belly button. Now, obviously, depending on the size of your situation here, you may love them or you may not. I have nothing going on here. It's just, there's just nothing. It's just skin. And to me, it it looks looks fine. It's very unusual. It's got these like flappy wings, like a, like a butterfly. Something that Misha Collection does really well. They do draping and it always looks really, really pretty. This has uh, quite a deep slit in it at the front. Um, my Spanx are just showing a little bit through this slit here. You can just see them. It has a very, very deep, back on it, like really quite deep. I feel like it's definitely a statement dress. Anywhere that you go wearing this, because of how extreme that is and because of the quite big slit in the front, it's very like, look at me, I'm here, look at me. I don't think I would want to wear this to like a, a wedding or anything like that. I guess it's just, it's like a good sexy date night dress. I adore halter neck dresses so much, but I will admit that if it weren't for you know, making a video about it, definitely wouldn't have bought this one. It's way out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't typically wear something like this. So uh, it's a good one for me to show you guys though. Like it's, it's really interesting, really cool dress. Again, love the brand, love the color. The color is magnificent. If anyone can give me tips on how to make this area look a little bit more perky without having a bra, I know there's like Hollywood tape. I guess that you like tape your skin or something and make it look more Perky, I'm not really sure. Give me some tips, guys. Give me some tips, because I know nothing about fashion. I need your help, please. Okay, so this is another one from Misha Collection. It's a very similar silhouette to that purple one that I wore earlier, but this is a really light material. This is called the Miriam Dress. It's a $290 dress. I really love the draping. Again, it's got this uh, excess material here that kind of hangs open a little bit, and I think it's really, really pretty. Love the blue and white color. It's got a built-in white slit underneath it, so um, it's not too sheer. The slit at the front, it doesn't come up too high for my liking. I think they really nailed the draping of this one. It sits in a really flattering way on the body. This is one of those moments where I'm very happy that I'm blonde right now because sky blue normally suits people with blonde hair. I know my natural complexion is probably not 
right for the blonde look. Aside from that, definitely think this is a beautiful one. Another win for Misha Collection. I just think that they really nailed their dresses. Their dresses are always so pretty. <sighs> I'm out of breath from talking so much. <sighs> Okay, this next dress is once again Misha Collection. I didn't realize that I bought so much from this brand. Purely coincidental, I guess I'm just really attracted to their designs because I, I literally was just scrolling through like all products. I was just looking at all dresses on the site and I was picking the things that I liked. Didn't realize that I ended up getting four dresses from the one brand. But uh, anyway, so this is Misha Collection as well. This is called the Carmella dress. It's a $360 dress. This dress does have one million points for pockets, because look, would, would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? Pockets. I love a dress with pockets. You guys know that I adore dresses that have pockets, but the only problem is there's something funny going on with the sizing of this one. I got this in a six, I got the others in a six, uh, and they were fine. This one is a six, but um, I can't zip it up. I cannot, for the life of me, zip it up. It's kind of reaching a point, and it won't go any further. I have a feeling if there was someone here with me that could like pinch together the top, then they would be able to like pinch it and I could zip it. If, if with that situation, it might do up, but uh, I just, on my own, I just can't get it to budge. It just, the, the zipper just won't move. Like I can, I can feel that I can kind of pull the fabric together. If I was standing here and if I breathed out and someone zipped, it would be okay. So if you're picking anything up from Misha Collection, one size up, definitely go a size up. I mean, that pink one was a size six and it was fine, but, um. Anyway, aside from that, I do adore the length of this skirt. It's a really voluminous skirt. I love that it cinches in at the waist and it comes with this matching belt. It gives me very Marilyn Monroe kind of vibes. It's got these very fine pinstripes on it, which I love. It's not often that I wear very, very crisp white clothing, but if this one would fit me, I would wear this a lot. Hopefully I'll be able to exchange this one for the right size. If I just go one size up, I will get so much use out of this dress. I adore it, it's perfect. I love it so much, love it to bits. Okay, so this next one is by a brand called Significant Other. This is called the Zahara dress and it's originally 230, but it came down to 112. This creases really, really easily. This is 55% linen, 45% viscose rayon, and uh, the linen part of it creases like linen. It's a really, really thick dress. It's like a, almost like a kimono style. Kind of does remind me of bedwear in a way. It's got beautiful sleeves and really interesting drapery. It's got this sort of wrap part here that just hooks into a, a ring and then just hangs down like that. Unfortunately, I, I don't have a steamer and the iron is packed up in the cupboard and I honestly can't be bothered. So, sorry, it's a little bit creased. Please forgive me. Hopefully you can get an idea of what it's meant to look like. I know I'm terrible. I'm very lazy. My husband does all the ironing in this household. He enjoys it. It's therapeutic for him, so I'm not, not one to iron things. I think the way they've designed this, where it cinches in at the waist, it's a really, really nice uh, silhouette that it creates. It's really casual chic. That's what I would call this. It's kind of like this casual, like, oh yeah, just throw it on and it's all drapey, and, but it's still, you know, really luxurious at the same time. I actually picked up this little tiny acrylic bag to match. This is the dumbest bag in the world and I can't believe that I bought it. I love acrylic bags, as you may have seen from the earlier one. This is by a brand called Respiro. I think it's R Respiro. And this is called the Jean Crossbody Bag. This little tiny thing that could fit like one lipstick and nothing else is $200. It literally fits nothing. It's like a jewelry box. You know what, I might just do that. Maybe I should do a video where I like recreate dumb, expensive products. <laughs> Just get a jewelry box and put a chain on it. Anyway, look, it's, it's purple and uh, the dress is purple. And I'm so clever because I thought, purple dress, purple bag. Watch out Tyra Banks. Pretty pastel please is the fashion master. Look, I even have a purple blanket to match. I'll wear it like a scarf. What can I say, darling? Coco Chanel is quaking. Yes, this little bag is absurd and pointless and stupid, but it is very, very cute. I love acrylic bags. I think they're really pretty. It's got this pearlescent finish to it, which is beautiful. I guess it's a, an interesting, quirky little piece. I don't know if the chain is quite long enough to wear it like a crossbody. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess it is. I guess you could wear it as a crossbody bag, I guess. But uh, anyway, enough about the stupid handbag. It's enough about my stupid decisions today. Okay, so next up is this polka dot jumpsuit by an Australian brand called Mossman. These guys are based down in Melbourne. Their clothes are hit and miss, I find. I think that 
Some of these pieces that I have seen, they are so beautiful and um, it's not fast fashion, like they don't make a thousand designs and then keep them on the website for a couple of weeks and then, you know, get rid of those and then make new ones. They have seasons, you know, so they'll have like a 12, 20 items or whatever as part of the season and they're available for however many months and then those go, they're completely gone for good, and then they bring on some new ones. This was still available on the Iconic, but not available on their website anymore. This is from last season. This is a $260 jumpsuit, and I got it for 110, which to me is an absolute steal. This is really thick fabric, like, ridiculously thick. It's like stiff like cardboard, and um, speaking of cardboard, actually this comes with a belt, and the belt, I actually think that there is cardboard inside the belt because um, it was like folded like this when it came in the parcel and then when I took it out of the parcel it's it stayed creased like that and um, I'm not so happy about that and also it's, it's a very unusual belt because it is so stiff like I can't squeeze this it's stiff so that it holds its shape which is good but also like now when I put it on my body it's like a like trying to put a rectangle on it's kind of weird I guess the more that you wear it it should kind of loosen up a bit. But uh, see that? It's sticking out because it's so firm and there's only one belt loop, so it's only, there's nothing to like pin that down. So I guess I just have to walk around like I got a little fence picket sticking out. So this is cotton and elastane and it is the thickest fabric ever. You could literally wear like bright pink undies under this and you wouldn't be able to see through it. It's so thick. It's got pockets, which I love. And I do often struggle with the length of pants when I buy things. I sometimes find that my legs are a bit too long and it looks silly on me because it's disproportionate. But the length of these, this is fine. I would much rather clothes come with longer legs and then you could pin it up or alter it than the fabric be too short and then there's nothing you can do about it. So I do really like the length of these. I love polka dots. I do look like a gigantic Dalmatian and I have no problem with that. This is one I recommend that you add to your radar. This jumpsuit is interesting. It's got this um, cut out back, which I don't know what I think about that. Um, like, why? Why is this like this? Is it like a ventilation shaft on a hot day so you can just kind of air yourself off a little bit? Is it to stop back sweat? Is that what it's about? Kind of an unusual design feature, but aside from that, I adore this jumpsuit. I think it's fantastic. Okay, this next dress is by an Australian designer called Nicola Finetti. Pretty sure, let me double check. Yes, Nicola Finetti. Now this is a $620 dress. This brand is on the uh, much higher end with Australian designers. You know, it's kind of like up there with Alex Perry and um, and uh, I, I don't know any other Australian designers off the top of my head, but um, it's very expensive. But Nicola Finetti, I have uh, been to Sydney Fashion Week a couple of times and seen Nicola Finetti collections come down the runway and quite a well-known Australian brand, really popular for the races. Like people that go to the Melbourne Cup, they often dress in Nicola Finetti. You see people like Jennifer Hawkins and um, Miranda Kerr, Australian models. They wear a lot of Nicola Finetti. So um, a really beautiful brand. I would never normally buy something from this brand, um, but obviously because of this video, I'm very lucky that I was able to get a piece. I love the look of this. This is stunning. I saw it on the model and I was like, oh, I need it. It's like a senorita kind of dress. It has this beautiful, beautiful, very fine, detailing of lace on the sleeves. It's got frills all the way down the front. I think it sits at a really beautiful height. The designer really nailed it with uh, the way that this dress fits on the waist and the hips. It creates a really beautiful silhouette and figure and I love it. It, it sort of clings in all the right places. And um, as you guys know, I complain a lot about my tummy and I love the copious amounts of frills here that hide that. <laughs> anyway, it's a very beautiful dress. I'm very happy with it. It's so expensive, over $600 originally for this dress, but if you can pick up a piece from this designer on sale, you will not regret it. You will find something for any occasion by this designer, so definitely check it out. Again, stalk them, wait until they go on sale. You will probably find something absolutely glorious. You really can't compare the quality of uh, the way that clothes like this are made to clothes from a fast fashion brand. You just can't compare it. Like this is above and beyond expectations. It's stunning. It's expensive for a reason. So I'm very, very happy that I have this one. Okay, next up is this skirt and sweater combination by a brand called Age. A-J-E, Age, Age. Ajay. I guess buying a hot pink sweater from them doesn't really show off their brand potential, but they do have really nice designs, I'll tell you now. So this is a hot pink sweater that's got an embroidered uh, 
patch here that says the brand name. This is very Barbie hot pink, like the hottest pink. This is called the Rigby Knit. This is $275 for this top that I'm wearing, which is bonkers when you think about it because I have 100 sweaters from YesStyle and they're like 20 bucks each. But the difference here, aside from age not being fast fashion, the other difference is the fabric. This is 54% alpaca, 45% nylon and 1% wool. So um, no wonder it's so soft, it's extremely soft. I don't have very many high quality wool sweaters. I think I have one, which will be in another video that I got from Japan. It's all, I think it's cashmere, got it secondhand. I guess when you're paying for cashmere, alpaca, wool, whatever it is, like you're paying for the fabric and it's, it's lovely. It's so nice. I also got another one because it came in two shades. It came in a pastel pink and then obviously the very, very hot pink. I like them both equally. I think they are both stunning and beautiful. The pastel pink is obviously right up my alley, but the hot pink is so Barbie and I adore it. And I'm wearing it with this skirt that's called the Arlo Denim Skirt. This is a $295 skirt. I must say, like, it, it's a beautiful skirt. Like, it's... You can tell it's made so well. It's got really interesting quirky shaped buttons on it. The length of it, perfect length. Not, not too short, not right, right up there. Nice shape, comes with a belt, and it also has pockets that are real pockets, because we know how much I despise fake pockets. Can't think of a bad thing to say about the skirt other than the fact that it's uh, $300, but I do really like this designer. I, this knit is so comfortable, it's ridiculous. The sleeves are beautiful and long. I'm really, really happy that I have it. Definitely a brand to check out if you're looking for a really special piece of clothing. And I do love to support Australian brands. So if you're shopping on the Iconic, a lot of brands on the Iconic are Australian brands. Oh, except for, there's something I forgot to show you. This is a brand that's not Australian. This is Moschino. Moschino. Yes, Mosh Moschino, that's how you say it. I got Moschino sneakers because I was like, well, if I'm gonna splurge on this haul and get designed things, I may as well get a designer pair of sneakers. Oh, $250. I paid 300 bucks for my Buffalo sneakers, so um, I mean, hey, that, that's a pretty normal price for sneakers. They're really cute. They have a little love heart on the side here. Very shiny little love heart. It says, love Moschino on the side. Beautiful hot pink. These also came in red as well, but I, I couldn't resist the pink. It's a very fluorescent pink. Very, very fluorescent pink, but um, yeah, these are awesome. Very, very happy with these. I have a lot of sneakers, a lot, and I always wear the same ones. And uh, I, I used to have this problem where when I got something really, really nice, I didn't want to wear it because I was worried about ruining it. But you know, I got to get out of that mindset. I got to try and wear these all the time, get as much wear out of them as I can. They kind of look like bowling shoes from the front a little bit, but they're really cute with the love heart. Happy with these. Well guys, in the uh, words of Natasha Romanoff, the sun's getting real low. Uh, it might not look like it, but it's almost dark outside. So um, I think it's time for me to sign off. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing brands that are not fast fashion. This is literally like one of my first non-fast fashion clothing videos. So most of the things I showed you today, uh, I think all of them, are designer items. If you liked this and you'd like me to explore the world of designer pieces more, please let me know. Don't do it very often at all because it's not really attainable for most people. And it just seems a bit silly, you know, if I'm talking to an audience that's mostly like between the ages of 18 and 25, people that age don't really have the money to be buying $600 dresses, but they do have the money to be shopping on Yes Style and Boohoo. So um, look, if you wanna see more videos about designer products, let me know in the comment section below if there's any other brands that you want me to check out. Tell me. Uh, I've been thinking of buying stuff from like Revolve or Netta Porter, you know, those kind of high-end brands, but also like the stuff on there is so stupidly expensive. But hey, if Honey wants to sponsor me or something like that, I can probably do it. So um, anyway, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Sorry that little Archie wasn't uh, present for the majority of the video. It's just, um, I know the uh, slogan of the channel is the bird stays, but it's slowly turning into the bird makes unwanted sexual advances on his mother. So um, if you behave next time, you can be around for the whole video, Archie. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!